Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Today we'll be looking at the top 25 Junk Wax era basketball cards that sold on eBay in the last two weeks. In addition to the list, we also have an awesome set of bonus cards at the end that you want to stay tuned for. You don't want to miss them. All right, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, going to start it off in the 25th spot from 1989 Hoops. We have a David Robinson rookie card, graded gem in PSA 10. This copy sold at auction for $302 and one penny. Pop of this card in Gem Mint Slab is 810 and boxes of 89 Hoops Series 1 sell for around $70 to $100. In the 24th spot from 1993 Tops Finest, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Second Year Refractor, graded in Near Mint Mint PSA 8 and sold at auction for $330. It's a pop of 85 and a PSA 8 slab. There are 99 graded higher with the highest being 6 gem and 10s. For 93 finest, refractors were inserted 1 in 9 packs or 1 in 4 jumbo packs. Boxes of 1993 finest sell for around $650 to $900. In the 23rd spot from 1993 Flare Ultra, we have the David Robinson Scoring Kings insert, graded mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $340. In a mint slab, it's a pop of 39, and there's only 8 higher graded gem mint 10s. The Scoring Kings inserts are inserted into Series 1 packs, or rated 1 in 36 packs. And boxes of 93 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $350 to $450. In the 22nd spot from 1991 Upper Deck, we have the Jerry West Heroes Autograph Card, numbered to 2500, graded in Near Mint Mint PSA 8, with a 10 grade for the auto. This card sold at auction for $361. It's a pop of 24 in the PSA 8 slab. There's 98 graded higher, with there actually being 37 Gem Mint 10s. Wow. The Jerry West Heroes were inserted into high series boxes of 91 Upper Deck, and those have recently sold for around $40 to $60. In the 21st spot from 1992 Hoops, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card. This is the Magic's All Rookie Team Insert, graded gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $370. In a gem and slab, it's a pop of 408, which is actually pretty low for some of these Shaq rookie cards. The Magic's all rookie team inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs, a rate of 1 in 30 packs. Boxes of 92 Hoops Series 2 sell for around $80 to $100. If you're interested into looking into any of these boxes further, there's links in the description box below for this video. Those are eBay affiliate links that take you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes that we feature in the top 25, plus ones from our previous videos. So check those out. We got a pretty awesome list down there. In the 20th spot from 1993 Top Stadium Club, we have the Chris Weber First Day Issue Parallel Rookie Card Graded Gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $400. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 10. This exact card sold for $75 in November of 2019. The first day issue parallels were inserted into both series at a rate of 1 in 24 packs. And tops announced they're limited to only 1,000 each. This card can be found in Series 2. And boxes of 93 Stadium Club Series 2 sell for around $65 to $80. In the 19th spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Larry Johnson Scoring Kings insert, graded in mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $450. It's a pop of 48 in a mint slab, and there's only 10 higher graded gem mint 10s. The Scoring Kings inserts were inserted into Series 1 at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. And those boxes of 93 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $350 to $450. It's kind of interesting that the Larry Johnson Mint 9 outsold the David Robinson Mint 9. Both were auctions or sold at auction and the Larry Johnson was 110 bucks more. 
In the 18th spot from 1995 Skybox EXL, we have the Kevin Garnett Natural Born Thrillers Rookie Card Graded Gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $460. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 64. The Natural Born Thrillers were inserted one in 48 packs. Boxes of 1995 Skybox EXL sell for around $350 to $450. In the 17th spot from 1994 Fleer Ultra, we have Shaquille O'Neal Scoring Kings insert graded mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $462.66. In a mint slab, this 94 Scoring Kings is a pop of only 22, and there's only three higher graded gem mint 10s. For 94, the Scoring Kings were inserted into first series hobby packs at a rate of 1 in 37 packs. And boxes of 94 Ultra Series 1 sell for $100 to $140. In the 16th spot from 1992 Tops Archives Gold, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card Graded Gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $546.75. That's down quite a bit since the crazy prices we saw a couple years ago. This was thousands of dollars for a while. It is a pop of only 166 in a gem mint slab. Only 10,000 of these gold Tops Archive sets were produced, and the checklist from the regular set was replaced with a Shaq card. You can't find Shaq in the regular 92 Tops Archive set. Uh, so the only set form in the 92 Tops Archive's gold sets sell for around $200 to $300. In the 15th spot from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Beam Team Rookie Card Insert graded Mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $575. In a Mint Slab, it's a pop of 1,088, and there are 119 higher graded Gem Mint 10s. The Beam Teams are inserted into Series 2 boxes at a rate of 1 in 36 packs, and boxes of 92 Stadium Club Series 2 sell for around $220 to $275. In the 14th spot from 1993 Tops Finest, we have the Tony Kukoc Rookie Card graded gem in PSA 10. This card is sold at auction for $677.77. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 37. There's also a refractor version, which is a much lower pop than that. Uh, boxes of 93 Finest sell for around $650 to $900. In the 13th spot from 1995 Metal, we have the Michael Jordan Slick Silver Insert graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $720.08. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of 247 This exact card sold for $202 back in December of 2019. The slick silver inserts were inserted into Series 1 packs or a rate of 1 in 7 packs. And boxes of 1995 Metal Series 1 sell for around $350 to $400. In the 12th spot from 1994 Tops Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor graded Near Mint Plus BGS 7.5 and it sold at auction for $850. So this outsold some of the Mint PSA 9s that I saw in the recent sales. However, it's got some pretty strong subgrades. So first we'll take a look as a Near Mint Plus BGS. It's a pop of 19. There's 459 graded higher with the highest being only 27 Gem Mint 9.5s. But look at the subgrades for this. It's got 9.5 for centering, 9.5 for edges, 9 for corners, and a 6.5 for surface. However, it does have the coating on it. So this would be a Candidate for a good card to crack and remove the coating and get it regraded. With only 27 Gem Mint 9.5s, if you could get a pretty good surface grade with the coating off, you might be another 9.5 in there. The refractors were inserted a 1 in 12 packs. Jordan can be found in Series 2 boxes. And boxes of 94 Finest Series 2 sell for around $450 to $600. I'd like to see someone crack one of these, remove the coating and resubmit it to see if it actually grades up a lot higher it would be interesting to see that 
In the 11th spot from 1992 tops, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Gold Parallel Rookie Card Graded Gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $868. It is a pop of $729 in a gem mint slab, and this exact card sold for $45 in September of 2016, so up quite a bit from 2016. Just don't look at the years in the middle, because this one sold as high as $12,000 back in February of 2021. Wow, that's a pretty crazy ride from 2016 to now. But if you look at just that... $45 in 2016 and 868 now it's actually looking uh, pretty good so we're more or less back to where pricing was for this particular card in early 2020 the gold parallels were inserted one per pack and boxes of 92 top series 2 sell for around 140 to 180 dollars In the number 10 spot from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's base card graded gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $900. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of $1,120. And boxes of 89 Fleer, pretty pricey still, around $450 to $600. We've seen the sales of the cards come down quite a bit, but the boxes, or some of the boxes, are still quite high, it seems. Some of them are starting to come down a bit. In the number nine spot from 1989 Fleer again, we have the Magic Johnson All-Star Sticker Insert graded gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $1,000. In a gem mint slab, it's a low pop of only 36. And these All-Star Stickers were inserted one per pack. And as mentioned before, those boxes sell for around $450 to $600. Tough to find these stickers in good condition though. They're usually really off-centered. Uh, this one actually looks pretty nice. You even see some of the gem in tens that you could tell they're off centered as well, but this one actually looks pretty good. Good eye appeal. In the number eight spot from 1992 Panini stickers, we have a Michael Jordan sticker graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,075. Wow. That is a low pop of only 17 in a gem mint slab. This, this exact sticker actually sold for $51 back in September of 2016. Boxes of 1992 Panini stickers sell for around $350 to $500. In the number 7 spot from 1995 Top Stadium Club, we have the Michael Jordan Beam Team Insert graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $1,125. I really like these beam teams. They're kind of laser cut die cuts. Pretty awesome looking. And it's a pop of only 91 in a mint slab. And there's only 29 higher graded gem in tens. So Jordan is in the series two. There's the beam team set was split up into series one and series two. Jordan's in the second series. And they were in there one in 36 hobby packs or one in 72 retail packs. Boxes of 95 Stadium Club Series 2, so around $140 up to $240. In the number 6 spot from 1995 Tops, we have the Michael Jordan Leaders. This is a Steel's Leaders card. Power Boosters Parallel, graded Gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $1,200. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 27, so only cards 1 to 30 were paralleled with the Power Boosters Parallel. In Series 1, anyway, in Series 2, there was other ones. They were inserted 1 in 36 packs. Boxes of 1995 Top Series 1 sell for around 160 to $200. In the number 5 spot from 1993 Topps Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor graded at Mint BGS 9. This card sold at auction for $1,425. It is a pop of 120 in a Mint BGS slab. There's 38 graded higher, with the highest being 1 Pristine 10. I bet you that would sell for 5 figures for sure. Subgrades for this card are 9.5 for corners and edges, 9 for centering, and an 8.5 for surface. The Mint 9 PSA pop is 419 and there's 41 higher Gem Mint 10s. Mint 9s sell for around $3,000 or so, so definitely a premium for the PSA slab. The refractors were inserted 1 in 9 packs or 1 in 4 jumbo packs. Boxes of 93 Finest sell for around $650 to $900.
and I would be completely scared of those bricking. In the number four spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert grade in mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $2,050. It's a pop of 283 in a mint slab, and there's 97 higher graded gem in tens. The scoring kings are inserted into series one packs, are rated one in 36 packs, and boxes of 93 Ultra Series One sell for 350 to 450 dollars. All right, time to see we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder: if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description box below. Use the code JunkWax10 and save 10% on your order. In the third spot, we're going to stick with 1993 Fleer Ultra, this time for the Shaquille O'Neal Second Year Scoring Kings insert, graded Gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $2,200. In a Gem Mint slab, it's a super low pop of only 15. Wow. Uh, quite a bit lower than the Jordan at 97 that we just saw. Already mentioned it's box hits, and those boxes are $350 to $450, bucks, Series 1. In the number two spot from 1995 Tops, we have another Power Boosters parallel. This one is in the second series, so this is Michael Jordan's card number 277, graded gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $2,220. Definitely a big difference from that Steel's Leaders ones. This one here is a pop of 49 in a gem mint slab. The other one was a lower pop, pop of 27. Previous sale of this card was $380 in December of 2019 for this exact card. So in Series 2, cards number 276 to 290, there's 15 of them that were paralleled as power boosters. And they were inserted 1 in 36 packs. Boxes of 95 top Series 2 sell for $250 to $350. And top of the list in the number 1 spot... For the second video in a row, this took the number one spot two weeks ago. Not this exact copy of the sticker, but another one of the PSA 10s. It's the 92 Panini sticker, Michael Jordan prism foil looking sticker, graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $3,500. It's a pop of only 52 in a gem in slab. The one from the video two weeks ago sold for $3,380 at auction. These 92 Panini sticker boxes sell for around 350 to 500 bucks. Um, they don't stay up very long though. They sell pretty quickly. All right, that's it for the top 25. Let me know in the comments below which ones of these were your favorite cards before we get into our bonus cards. Got a pretty awesome set of bonus listings here for you. You don't want to miss them. But before we get into that, please give this video a quick like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's take a look at our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index. So for the week we were down, we set a new low for basketball, 60.9. Ouch, that's a tough one to swallow there. The S&P 500 up, NASDAQ was up, and Bitcoin down a bit, 68.2. The basketball index made up of 50 cards. Here's a list of those cards spanning from 1989 to 1996. Pretty awesome list. See how the basketball index stacks up to the other three major sports indexes that we track. Everything was down this week. Football is still in the top spot, 85.7. Baseball not too far behind. But hockey and basketball are having some rough time here. 63.2 for hockey and as mentioned, 60.9 for basketball. I'm going to have to change my graph here if it gets down below 60. I compile these indexes using the collections features that are built into the Market Movers X app. It allows you to build up your own collections of the cards you have, or if you like me, this index is a made-up collection, but you can track it and it tracks it automatically over time. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box below for this video. Use the code JWI and you get the first month of your subscription for only a buck. Alright, let's get into those bonus cards. First up, we have a case of 1992-93 Upper Deck Fantasy Packs. You get a case of 500 packs, or these are the McDonald's Fantasy Packs, I should say. Sold at auction for $377, so well under a buck a pack. Um, actually, like these packs themselves, I've seen them for a buck or two bucks. I've seen lots of 10 of them at a time sell for around 20 bucks or so, 15, 20 bucks. So you could 
really take these and package them out in smaller lots and probably make some money on them. Or you could open them up and chase after that Shaq McDonald's rookie card or the MJ in here. So the Jordan, it's a PSA 10 pop of over 500, not super rare. But it typically sells for around 80 to 100 bucks or so. And the Shaq rookie card that's in here, it's pretty high pop of 990, almost 1,000. Typically sells around 60, 70 bucks. There's also an Alonzo Morning rookie card that gets not really much attention. It's a pop of only 94. So pretty neat. 500 packs. That'd be fun to open. 500 packs of McDonald's packs. It's a pretty small set. I think it's only 50 cards. So I wonder how many of each of the cards you would get. Up next, we saw a couple of the 92 Panini stickers make the top 25. Here's a 1991 Panini sticker. It is a Michael Jordan foil sticker graded near mint mid PSA 8 and sold at auction for $155.23. It's a pop of 72 and a PSA 8 slab. They're 61 graded higher with there only being two gem mint 10s. So that's super low pop. I think the 91 Panini sticker boxes sell for a lot less than the 92s because you don't have the option of pulling that Shaq rookie sticker out of there as well. So maybe something to look at. If stickers are your thing, some people don't like collecting the stickers though. From 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Larry Bird and Magic Johnson Retirement Card. This is card SP1, graded gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $66.50. In the gem and slab, it's actually a pretty low pop of only 82. Not too bad. This is the, so the SP1. It was commemorating Larry Bird's and Magic Johnson's retirement. Inserted into Series 1 packs at a rate of 1 in 72 packs. So I'd have to rip a couple boxes to get one of those. From 1992 Fleer, we have the Larry Johnson Rookie of the Year autograph inserts with the Fleer logo. Stamped into it for authenticity and raw condition, so at auction for $57. There's actually only been one of these graded with PSA, it looks like, and it's a Mint 9. The Larry Johnson Rookie of the Year autos were inserted one in 15,000 wax packs. It was a total print run of all 12 cards of approximately 2,000, so split that up into the 12 different cards, and these could potentially be around less than 200 each. From 1993 Topps Finest, we have the Dennis Robin Refractor Grade Mint PSA 9. This car sold at auction for $207.50. It's a pop of only 45 in a mint slab, and there's actually only six higher graded gem mint 10s. Uh, refractors for 93 inserted one in nine packs or one in four jumbo packs. From 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Michael Jordan Award Winner Hologram Insert Graded Gem Mint SGC 10. Sold at auction for $202.50. I'd say these award winner holograms look pretty sharp in the tuxedo slabs. It's a pop of only two in a gem in SGC 10. There's no higher graded gold labels. Over at PSA, it's a gem in PSA 10 pop of only 39. Uh, award winners cards 1 to 6 like this one were inserted in the low series and cards 7 to 9 were in high series. From 1990, Kentucky Big Blue, we have the Shaq Pre-Rookie Card Grade in Mint SGC 9 with an old label. Sold at auction for $280. It's a pop of 316 in a mint slab and there's 28 higher graded gem mint SGC 10s. Seems like a pretty high pop with the SGC considering over at PSA. It's a mint 9 pop of only 8 with one higher gem mint 10. Something seems off there. Up next, from 1994 Hoops, we have the Chris Webber Rookie of the Year graded gem in PSA 10. That was a, his 93 Rookie of the Year award in a fixed price sale for $47.99. In a gem in slab, it's a low pop of only six. From 1992 Skybox, we have the School Ties insert with James Worthy, Michael Jordan, and Sam Perkins. Graded Gem in BGS 9.5, and it was a best offer sale for $300. In a Gem in BGS slab, it's a low pop of only two, with none graded higher. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering corners and surface, and a 9 for edges. The PSA pop is pretty low as well. There's only been 91 graded, with 40 near mint mint 8s, 27 mint 9s, and only 10 Gem in 10s. The school ties inserts were inserted into 92 Skybox Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 4 packs. 
From 1994, uh, Product Collector's Choice, we have a Reggie Miller Silver Signature Parallel, graded gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $140. And a gem in slab, it's a low pop of only three, and the Silver Signature Parallels were inserted one per pack. From 1992, Upper Deck McDonald's, here's that Michael Jordan that you could have pulled out of those 500 packs. This is graded gem in PSA 10. Sold at auction for $82, and I've seen copies of these sell for around. This was one of the lower ones, 80 bucks up to 100 to $110. It's a pop of 537 in a gem mint slab. From 1994 tops, we have the Grant Hill Rookie Card. This is the Spectra Light Parallel, graded in mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $54.99. It's a low pop of only 18 in a mint slab, and there's only eight higher graded gem mint 10s. The Spectralite Parallels were inserted into 94 tops at a rate of one in four packs. From 1993 Skybox Premium, we have Shaquille O'Neal's. This is the Shaq Talk insert, Shaq Talk Legends, graded gem mint PSA 10, sold at auction for $93. It is a gem in 10 pop of only 16. So the Shaq Talk insert set was a 10 card set split evenly between series one and series two, five in each. And they were inserted one in 36 packs. From 1995 Flair, we have the Scotty Pippen Playmakers insert graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $157.50. And a gem in slab, it's a low pop of only 23. I find these lenticular cards and never get really good pictures of them. Um, the Playmakers were inserted into Series 2 packs of 95 Flair at a rate of 1 in 54 packs. From 1994 Skybox Emotion, we have the Patrick Ewing card. Boom! Graded gem in PSA 10. And it was a fixed price sale for $99.99. And a gem in slab, it's a low pop of only 6. I actually like the looks of these Skybox Emotion cards. It's one of those sets where the cards and Skybox Premium as well, where a lot of times the cards look like they are insert cards, but really they're just base cards. From 1992 Panini Stickers, you can tell I've been looking up some stickers recently. We got the Chicago Bulls Logo Prism Foil Sticker Grade in Mint PSA 9. That was a best offer sale for $65. It is a pop of 15 in a Mint 9 slab, and there's only one higher graded gem in 10. From 1991, Hoops Sears Superstars. This is the little box 100 card Sears set. We have a Tem Hardaway. It's actually a second year card, or you could call it a rookie reprint because it's basically the same as his 1990 Hoops rookie card. But And it still says rookie on it, even though it is released in 91. So I'm going to call it a second year rookie reprint. Created gem in PSA 10. Sold at auction for $77. This exact card sold for $52 back in June of 2021, so up 50% since then. And it's a pop of only three in a gem and slab. From 1995 Hoops, we have the Michael Jordan. Nice little photo here, action shot with Shaq guarding him, graded gem in PSA 10. Or maybe I should say Shaq trying to guard him. And it sold at auction for $260. And a gem and slab, it's a pop of only 53. And I really like this card. I like the game action photography. From 1990 Fleer, we have Larry Bird, graded a Gem Mint CSG 9.5. This card sold at auction for $14. And a Gem Mint CSG slab, it's a pop of 39. There's none graded higher, no perfect or pristines. Its uh, subgrades were 9.5 for corners, edges, and surface, and a 9 for centering. The Gem Mint PSA 10 pop is pretty high, it's $1,486, but they typically sell for around $50 to $60. You don't want to shell out 50 or $60 for a Gem Mint 1990 Fleer Larry Bird. This is a good way to get one for only 14 bucks, less than grading. And it's a nice looking card. From 1994 Hoops, we have the Dennis Rodman Gold Mine. This is actually a subset card. Graded in Mint PSA 9. It was a best offer sale for $50. It's a pop of 8, somewhat. I will make a note of that later in a mint slab and there's three higher graded gem in tens so psa has this as a 94 hoops gold mine as it as if it was its own separate set and as you can notice from the label it has no number on it even though this is actually just a subset in series two of 94 hoops 
there is a number on it. It's in the top right. If you can see on the back, it's just really hard to read. So there's quite a few of these gold mine cards. And there's a subset 94 hoops. So PSA has this one as a separate pop. But then if you go into the 94 hoops, there's another pop for this actual card, which is number 448. But that one's a low pop as well. It is a mint nine pop of five, and there's none graded higher. So still pretty low if you combine the two pops, but uh, definitely hard to read that number on the back. So I can see how this was a mistake. From 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Tim Hardaway Beam Team Insert Graded Gem in PSA 10. This card is still at auction for $224.46. It's a pop of only 37 in a gem mint slab, and the Beam Team inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. From 1992 Fleer, we have the Scotty Pippen All Stars Insert Graded in Mint PSA 9. That was a best offer sale for $90. It is a mint nine slab pop of only 19 and there's none graded higher. This one's actually a condition sensitive insert. It's tough to find these in gem mint condition. Uh, the all-stars were inserted into series one packs and 92 Fleer had a rate of one in nine packs. From 1992 upper deck, we have the Shaquille O'Neal rookie card trade card. This is card number one B. This was only received if you redeemed the draft trade card graded gem in PSA 10 and sold at auction for $390 and a gem mint slab it's a pop of 440 I kind of like looking at this one because I know that that pop is not really going to change because the redemption is expired obviously so you can't pack pull any more of these whereas the other Shaq rookie card card number one you can still pull out of the 92 upper deck high series boxes it's got a lower pop right now, pop of 337, but I bet you eventually that one gets up closer to this one. Now the other pop that you can, st or the other card that you can still pull, card number one, it sells for over $1,500. This one here, I think it's a pretty good deal at 390 bucks. What do you guys think? From 1991 Classic Four Sport, we have the Dikembe Matombo Pre-Rookie Card Graded Gem Mint PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $70. In a gem mint slab, it's a low pop of only 15. And one thing here of note, there's actually a 91 Classic 4 Sport French version, and it's a gem mint pop of only two. And we're gonna finish it up with a pretty awesome case here. This is a 1992-93 Upper Deck uh, All-Star Weekend Box Sets. You get a sealed case with 40 boxes. So why this is good is it includes one gold parallel box. That was a fixed price sale for $500. So with this set, they're super condition sensitive, tough to find. And yeah, with each case, one of the boxes had a complete parallel with the gold foil instead of silver foil. Uh, super low pops. This one here, just even the regular silver foil ones are low pops as well because they are condition sensitive, but the gold ones, it's ridiculously low. So for instance, the Jordan in here, the regular silver version is a mint nine pop of 126 and a gem mint 10 pop of only 20. The gold version, there's only 16 PSA eights. There's only six mint nines and it's a gem mint 10 pop of only two. So super low. Uh, the Alonzo Morning, which would be a rookie card, it's super low pop in both. The regular silver, there's only six PSA 8s and four mint 9s. There's no gem mint 10s. And the gold version, there's only been three graded, with the highest being one near mint mint PSA 8. And then obviously the big card from here is the Shaq rookie card. It's a PSA 8 pop of only 199 in the regular version. Mint 9 pop is 134 and gem mint is only 19, so super tough to gem. And the gold version is even lower. There's only 18 PSA 8s, 7 mint 9s, and only 2 gem mint 10s. Wow. I'd say the only way to find one of those gold parallel sets, complete sets, would be buying it like a case like this and hoping that it's a sealed case and hasn't been looked through because I'm sure back in the day most of these cases would have been bought the gold ones found and the rest of the sets sold off so i've been looking for one of these and this one missed my search criteria i have a saved search for these and i don't know why this one didn't show up because i've been keeping an eye out for a sealed case because i would like to have that gold set 
Alright, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. Truly appreciate the support. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.